In today's Tumlet Thursday I'm reviewing this book, but I should probably read it before I review it. Seems like a good idea. The book I've been reading is Redefining HR by Lars Smith. And for those of you who doesn't know Lars, if there are people out there who still doesn't know Lars, he's quite well known in the HR community at least. For those of you who doesn't, Lars is an HR practitioner. He started out in HR in the last century. That's how old he is. Joking aside, he is a great HR person. It's now the time we say, one of us, one of us, or is, is that later? I met Lars the first time 2015 when he presented HR Open Source on LinkedIn Talent Connect in Anaheim. And he actually talks about that in the book, not about meeting me, but HR Open Source and LinkedIn Talent Connect at Anaheim that he talks about. I think I tweeted him saying like, hey, this resonates so much with me. How can I help? And we met up in the lobby, me, Lars and Ambrosia. At least for me, I think we hit it off and, and sort of were on good terms ever since we've been internet pals. When he said that he was gonna release a book, I was obviously excited. So the main question now is, am I still excited after reading the book? My poker face might not be the best one, so you might already have been able to tell what I think about the book. Yes, I am still excited and I think it's a great book and there are two main reasons for why I think it's a great book. Number one, it's super concrete and it's a practical book. It's not about fluffy theories that's never been tried in real life. It's all about coming down to earth and seeing what's worked and what's not worked. Not saying he's not pushing the envelope, he truly does. He's pushing the envelope and he's developing HR, but it's grounded and it's realistic. And I really, really like that. And that's something you rarely see in a nature book, which is unfortunate. And secondly, he invites other people to his book. So it's not only his voice in the book. And I think that is great because that gives perspective on the topics discussed in the book. And he also does a great job facilitating those conversations and merging them into his own views which makes it, it just makes it more vivid and more colorful of a book, I think. All the stories, uh, all the stories combined and all the chapters combined, it also makes up sort of a modern HR encyclopedia. Really hard word to say in English, encyclopedia. Is that how you pronounce it? Uppslagsverk in Swedish. But it can sit on your shelf and you can get inspiration where you need inspirations for the certain areas that are mentioned in the book. So main question, should you read it? Yes, you should. Definitely. If you're an HR, if you're a leader, if you're an executive, you should read this book. And maybe perhaps a bit extra if you're an executive who hasn't experienced great HR, because there are tons of great examples of great HR in this book. So have you had eh, wonky experience in the past with HR? This is the book for you, because it shows what HR could and should be. So make sure you pick up this book. Links are below. Those are affiliate links. If you click them, I get the percentage of the sale. Let me know in the comments what you think about the book. Make sure to hit that like button and I'll see you. Yeah, I'll see you in the next one. And the next one being Tuesday. Just a hint. It's all about Compton Ben, I should say, on Tuesday. So yeah, I'll see you. I'll see you on Tuesday.